Yeah, they do, Candace. And for months now, the city says they've had signs around Bird Park encouraging the proper way to feed the geese here. But some neighbors I spoke to say some families are ignoring that advice. They call the geese a nuisance. Others really encouraging the city right now to keep the birds. <laughs> Flocks of flightless geese populate Bird Park every day. This is their home, they're domestic geese. Karen Day and her friends aim to take care of the birds. And I'm going to be feeding the same food and the correct food. But come Saturday, the geese who have settled to roost here for decades will soon call North Carolina home. None of us knew that this was a plan. So I noticed it from day one. And Marie McCartan, who lives next door to the lake, led a task force to figure out how to better manage the geese population. What do you think is the most harmful part about the geese in the neighborhood? The most harmful part is that the geese aren't being treated the way farm animals should be treated. She says she's witnessed some foul behavior. And imagine if you didn't have to step over all the goose droppings on, on the fields and on the sidewalks. They produce a lot of feces. Dr. Leslie Bullock studies and teaches avian ecology at VCU. If you feed an animal something that's not a part of its normal diet, particularly something that's high in calories and low in nutrients, um, that it can lead to a variety of problems. The city says the birds increase the algae blooms in the lake. Geese eating bread can also lead to angel wing, disabling their ability to fly. It's not really good for the geese um, to be fed from humans. Although there are there is some bad feeding practices going on, I think it could have been handled better. And you can see some people feeding those birds right now. Well, that nonprofit Carolina Waterfowl Rescue based in Charlotte will arrive here to Bird Park on Saturday. We'll collect nearly every goose since they mate for life and they have families. It's hard to determine exactly which goose belongs to which family, so they'll all go together. And I'm told that the city will not be uh, cost anything. The taxpayers uh, will be not footing the bill for this. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.